Hi guys, Tony from 360 Vegas here. Look, I figure if we can't get to Las Vegas, maybe I'll bring a little bit of Las Vegas to you. So how about I whip us up a cocktail, commonly referred to as a Sinatra Smash, if you get one from Encore at Parasol Up, Parasol Down, or at the Sinatra restaurant. So why don't we start putting it together now. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need to make some simple syrup, and it really is as simple as it sounds. I'm gonna have you take one cup of sugar, you're gonna take one cup of water, you're going to put it in a pot, bring the water to a boil, just stir the, the sugar until it dissolves. It's gonna take probably, well, however long it takes to come to a boil, what, two minutes? But once it comes to a boil, it's gonna melt the sugar in no time. Turn it off, let it rest and cool down for about five to 10 minutes. Then take some vanilla extract and take one tablespoon worth of vanilla extract and add it into your cooling simple syrup mix. Leave it in the pan, give it another five minutes just to cool down and it'll be good to go from there. If you really want to get uh, uh, energetic or ambitious, you can also take two vanilla pods. You can cut them lengthwise, use the back of a knife to remove the actual bean from the pot itself and put into the uh, simple syrup mix, but that's more work and quite frankly, I'd rather just put a tablespoon of uh, extract in. So next up, we're going to, oh, I first need you to make some, uh, sweet and sour mix, okay? Now, this is what it's gonna wind up looking like when it's done. So the fact that it's not quite bright yellow, don't let that concern you. But ultimately, I'm gonna need you to squeeze the, some lemons, probably four or five. I find that I can get about an ounce to an ounce and a half from one lemon. So I would have conservatively five on hand, maybe six just to be on the safe side. And when you're juicing, you're gonna probably wanna use one of these two items. This one is, is traditional, you cut it in half, you just juice it right through here, or you can uh, cut it in half, put, it, put the, fl uh, the actual flush side of the juice part down, and then when you squeeze it, it drains the, the juice right into your cup. I, I find this to be very handy, but whatever you've got around, don't go out and buy anything. So how are we gonna make this, uh, this sweet and sour mix? You're going to take one quarter cup, excuse me, you're gonna take one half cup of lemon juice plus one quarter cup of your vanilla simple syrup. Now this is what your vanilla simple syrup is going to look like once it's done. So again, half a cup of lemon juice, quarter cup of this vanilla simple syrup, just put it in a bowl. This is now your, your sweet and sour mix. All right. Now, do you want to actually start to make the drink? I am using what is called a Boston shaker. Now, I am a new fan to using the Boston shaker, and by new fan, I mean like three days new to it. Before this, I used to use, and, and this is probably what you've got in your home bar, and it's fine. Keep it. Just know that a Boston shaker is, is a neat opportunity. The one thing that I started to find that I did not like about my shaker that had, you, you know, you put the top on it and at the, and at the top of the top it had the, the little holes in it. You put the cap on it, you'd shake it, and then you could, and it would automatically strain for you. Over time, what you're going to find is the lid to the actual base itself doesn't fully uh, affix to it. And even more so, that little cap won't stay on. And so as you're shaking it, you're going to get it all over the place. Not that this is much better in a roundabout way, but you'll get to see me stumble with this in just a minute. So let's go ahead and start to put the, the drink together. Start with six blackberries and one uh, mint leaf. Now here's the thing about the mint leaf. I've washed these. These are, I, I didn't want them to be organic. It was all my grocery store had. So if you're gonna use organic, remember how they fertilize that stuff, all right? And go ahead and uh, after you've washed it, drop it right in there. In addition to, you're gonna use your simple syrup and you're going to want two thirds of your simple syrup. Now, if you've got, and I'm a big fan of these, and I just haven't ordered them yet. I am a big fan of, using squeeze bottles, kind of like what you might see uh, ketchup in when you're, when you're at a picnic, you can ration it out a lot quicker, but it is what it is. Again, make do, don't go out and buy stuff just to be able to make this cocktail. You want two thirds ounce of the simple syrup. Pour it right on in there, and then you're going to use a muddler. Now let's talk about a muddler. I don't recommend the muddler that I own here. 
This muddler that I own is a two-piece muddler. What I would recommend if you're going to spend some money on a muddler is get a one-piece and it's gonna be made all out of wood. The problem with my two-piece here, although it doesn't come apart, you'll notice that this is starting to pull away from this and it's gonna allow bacteria to get in there. So you're always gonna to wanna to wash these very closely. But what muddles it is, and I'm not sure how well the camera can pick this up, there are little grooves, they're almost teeth at the bottom of this. And the value to doing this is when you get in here and as you're muddling it, listen, I don't want you to, to beat the hell out of all of this stuff, all right? You're literally going to gently just one up, one down and give it a little twist. What we're doing is we're starting to break up the juices from the berries and we're breaking up the oils that's in the tea leaf. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, now that we've got this started, let's put the, uh, let's put the real good stuff in. All right, so first things first. What are we using? We are using Gentleman Jack. This is the important one. This is the one that I would say don't skimp on. In Michigan, this is about a 35 to 40-ish dollar bottle of Tennessee whiskey. This, uh, De Kuiper Creme de Cassis, is a whopping $15 mixer. Don't spend a lot of money on mixer. You don't need it. It's only there to help add flavor. This is where, with the Gentleman Jack, I want you to buy the actual Gentleman Jack. This is the quality. This is just there to help bring some of the flavor out. This is gonna get messy, so I apologize to my wife ahead of time who's ultimately gonna to have to clean this up. I'm going to need two ounces of my uh, sweet and sour mix that's in here, but I gotta measure it. So we're gonna do it like this. Okay, there's one and a half ish. There's one more ounce ish, all right. Next, we're going to put in our creme de cassis. We need an ounce and a half of this. And the worst part is, kids, I haven't started drinking yet, so me pouring that lemon juice all over is, or sweet and sour mix all over is uh, just, just me, just who I am. All right, so like I said, ounce and a half creme de cassis. And then what we like most of all four ounces of the Gentleman Jack. By the way, I don't know if you can uh, see the lights here that are uh, in the kitchen, but I'm trying not to <laughs> hide behind them, so I apologize. We need four ounces of this. Now, before you freak out and think, Tony, you're using a half a cup to make a cocktail, this ultimately will yield two drinks, you know, ish. So, there you go. Now here's our drink. Watch this. I've got, the camera woman should be fired. So here's what I've done. I've already put ice in the actual base itself. I'm gonna pour the rest of my drink over the ice. Can you see how it's not straight on, how it's a little bit of an angle? Give it a, give it a little hit, that's gonna suction it in. Now when we shake, Always make sure that you shake with the larger mouthed part of the shaker towards you. If you're shaking it this way and you've got guests right here and you don't have a good seal on this, you're gonna completely spray down your guests with uh, alcohol and that, that's just wasteful. If I do it, it's on me because that's my fault for not having it properly sealed. So here we go. I like to shake for somewhere between 20, 25-ish seconds. The more you shake, the more you're gonna to start to see the condensation build and that's how you're gonna know that it's, that it's fully chilled. For the sake of time, good enough. Now this, what's about to happen right now, this is where having a Boston shaker is not as convenient as one of the uh, shakers that has the strainer built right in because now I gotta to try to break the seal and remove this glass part from the metal part. I have seen some uh, bartenders who will, will kind of wrap it on the side. I found that if I hit it right about in here, not, not where it's touching the glass, there you go, it pulls right away. Next, this is a Hawthorne strainer. The value of a Hawthorne strainer is with this wire that's, that's, that's uh, affixed to it, it's going to block a lot of the particles that are in here, specifically the, the bits of 
uh, blackberries because remember after shaking it up and you've got the ice in there it's going to cause those berries to break up a bit more so i just cover it right over here and then pour i'm going to put in an ice cube notice one large oversized ice cube you don't want to put a lot of small ice cubes in a glass because that's too much uh, surface space. And with the surface space, it's going to cause your drink to get diluted. It's going to melt the ice that, that much quicker. And you don't want a diluted uh, cocktail. What you want is you want to keep it cold. So I'm going to take one more uh, mint leaf and you're going to, it's called expressing it. Just give a little whack right against the back of your hand. That starts to break out some of the oils. I'll put it right over here. I will garnish with two more blackberries. And there, my friends, is a uh, Sinatra smash. So I hope you enjoy, and more so, I look forward to getting to see everyone in Las Vegas very, very soon. So cheers, my friends.